they're all over this break. I mean, here's a bunch of fish. And that's the thing. When you see them on structure scan, rather than waiting to drift over the top of them, all you gotta do, push a button, hit a waypoint, and pitch on them. Here's one. Just like that. Just like that. Hunting for walleyes. You know, that's the thing with the clarity in these new Lowrance units, structure scanning, I can see pods of fish. So rather than doing great big long drifts down the edge, I just drive around till I see pods of fish and either mark them with a waypoint or I just pitch a jig. Like right now I'm just pitching, the water's cold so I'm pitching a jig and a minnow out. You can pitch a jig in a, in a, in a plastic or even a crankbait. Certain times where I'll throw crankbaits into pods of fish that they're suspended. But it's so clear, cool to just drive around and hunt for big schools of walleyes. Not a bad fish. You know, the process is pretty easy. See them on structure scan. I, like I said, I like pitching on them. I don't like waiting to come back through a section. Uh, as soon as I see a school of fish, I know they're there. I know they're biting. If I could just pitch on them in an instant and then go to the next pot of fish, you could put a lot more fish in the boat when you're hunting for them like that, rather than just doing great big long drifts. I mean, the brake line that we're working runs you know, 10 miles long, I can cover that pretty quickly with my big motor. If the school's big enough, I hit the spot lock feature and I can sit on there and pull multiple fish out of there. But for the most part, I just like hunting for them, pitching on them, pulling them in the boat, and then just repeat the steps. You know, a lot of times, like with a jig and a minnow, like we're pitching now, or even like a paddle tail where something's falling slow, I'll pitch right into the school. However, if I'm fishing like a jigging wrap or something that's a little bit heavier, that falls fast, I like to actually pitch it beyond the fish and then work it through the schools of fish. Walleyes love to chase, but they hate things that are just popping right in their face, unless it's a slow falling bait like we're doing now where it's a shiner minnow, or like I said, a paddle tail or something of that nature. So, you know, really by pushing the screen where it tells you how far those fish are away from you will determine the length of your cast then. And that's the thing, if you're an aggressive angler, like a bass angler that finds walleye fishing kind of boring, just dragging things around the bottom. This is a great way to catch walleyes. Walleyes are predator fish. They're big time hunters. I don't care if you're throwing paddle tails or crankbaits. They're aggressive. When you find them, they're gonna strike. When you start fishing aggressively like this, it just makes it that much more fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 fish. There they are. <laughs> Just like that, hunting for walleyes. There's a bunch, I can still see them on my screen here. Look at, just inhaled that bait. That's the thing when you drop it right in their face. That's what you get. All right. Halfway decent fish. Get back and get another one here. I used to use this technique a lot with my 2D sonar, but when you bring the structure scan element and the clarity that you have on the structure scan, you just see that much wider, you cover that much water quicker. Uh, it just makes fishing so much more fun when you can you know, cut down that time of looking. You know, there's, It's amazing how one little ledge or one little inside turn will hold most of the fish. And then other times like we have here where these big pods of fish but they're scattered out over a long period. You know, it'd take me a long time with 2D sonar to scan this 10 or 12 miles that we're fishing right now. But having that structure scan and, and being able to look out to both sides, very, very powerful tool. Right there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 fish. There they are. Oh. Look at them all back there. There he 
is. <laughs> Going from fish to fish and targeting fish right where you see them. It's, it's hard to explain, it's just so much fun. Another one. It's like hunting for walleyes, that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> 